Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Today I'm coming to share with you a little journal made from file folder. This is the file folder I have both from America uh, Amazon and I, it's really lovely. The quality of this file folder is beautiful, the cardstock is wonderful. So I want to use it for a book, but I don't want to use it for the large book. I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to keep this tab as a part of my book. So I'm going to cut the file folder right here. Between hinges here, it does have those hinges for sheets of paper. So I'm going to cut this uh, between these hinges and that tab. So right here, and this will be base of my book. I'm gonna make small marks, how far or where to cut. So I'm gonna be using my ruler and I can see that 18 centimeters from this edge, it's the best what I like to see as, as the base of my pop-up book. I do have cut my file folder on two pieces. I'm gonna split these pages from the binding or these papers from the binding so I will have extra additional parts which I can use for creating uh, pockets and extra decorations I do have my three extra pieces my little notepad or a future book as you can see it does have beautiful extra binding here it's kind of like extendable so it's good if i will want to stack stuff it with uh, so much stuff as an additional papers decorative papers i'm gonna be using papers from this uh, paper pad this is my paper pad bohemian crafting paper pad with all kind of office papers i do have still few blocks or a few pads for sale they are on my etsy i will put link down below first i'm gonna be using grungy stamps from uh, a sim sentimental years splatterlicious textures i can't say that but i love these stamps and i'm gonna do grungy stamping all around of every single papers on my table here on both sides here both sides here both sides here and also on these little ones just to make sure i will have them prepared i'm gonna be using this one because i like it the most and for stamping i'm gonna be using this uh, rustic brown ink from spectrum noir Not long time ago I got a question what I do use to make my uh, stamps sticky like this. This was actually sticky because the stamp was made that way but I do have now product because you know when I'm using it with my fingers I'm kind of taking that stickiness down and I found the glue. I did show that glue in my previous video this tacket over and over. This is perfect glue for making your stamps sticky here on this side you just put the coat of this glue on that stamp and let it dry i did it last time in the previous video i added it on this stamp and it's now like really very <laughs> very sticky <laughs> nicely sticky now so i'm gonna be making it on this stamp again i think today after my craft I will put new coat of this tacky glue or tuck, tuck it glue on my stamp, stamp, very thin coat, let it dry and then it's very nice and sticky. I have all distressed and prepared those basics you can see on all pages i'm gonna grab one of these hinged parts and i'm gonna score 
one side of it and I think I'm gonna score half inch and five eighths I just want to make little fold here on the end and because it's very thick material I do believe with these two score lines it will sit nicely so this can be attached right here yes I'm gonna I'm gonna place this here on this first side match the ends here those sides here and push it down and let it dry so it will be like lifting upside with the hinge for editing some writing papers I'm gonna score that second one same way half inch and five eighths of inch and the second part i'm gonna glue on that last page from this little note notepad place it right here this last piece i'm gonna alter a little bit i'm gonna cut off these ends and I'm going to score it in the size of this page. So this is 7 inches. This is 9 inches. So I can score 1 inch, 1 inch on each side. 1 inch here. And 1 inch here. With the envelope punch board, I'm gonna make entry here between those folds, between these two points. So I'm gonna place it on two and a half punch, and again two and a half punch. I do have folded these sides. And I'm gonna place it here before I will place it there. I'm gonna just trace the end. I did cut the corner in the shape of that page. And I can glue it down. So these hinges I can glue here and here. That way I will have um, kind of like belly band or pocket from the bottom. I do have here these two <laughs> and now I can glue it down I do have these two here at the front so I'm gonna put the glue on the hinges and glue As I said, I'm going to be using these papers from the paper pad to decorate my little book. So I'm going to choose a few of these papers. I do have cut -it papers which I would like to use inside. And I also uh, distress them. I'm going to grab my sewing machine and do sewing effect around the edges of these papers. I do have few of them from that paper pad so first i'm gonna do sewing effect all around following tutorial which i made about three years ago i have made this stack of envelopes uh, it can be open here and there it's a card here and there is a pocket here where i can put some picture or so and i'm gonna be using this as a decoration on the top of my little notepad so i'm gonna place it probably somewhere here i wanna see the writing on the top and i'm gonna be using my sewing machine to sew it here 
here and here i would like to have also sewing effect around this inside window so that's what i'm gonna do first then i will sew this line to make decorative stitching on this side as well and then i will sew it here on the page on these three sides and this is how it looks like sewn on my paper i fixed it with that brown tape first and then i sew it around these three edges so from this side i do have beautiful pocket i can stack there some image and i do have these pockets here which i showed you before now i can glue it all here on the front cover of my little journal i'm gonna take off the papers which i placed inside just to make sure i know <laughs> where they will go and before i will glue it here the binding on the spine it's quite bright and i already tried once before uh, how to color this spine how to color the material which is used on these uh, file folders and i found that alcohol ink is the best so i'm gonna be using alcohol ink for coloring uh, for make it a little bit more grungy i'm gonna be using this browning alcohol ink from octopus i found it on amazon i will put link down below for those who want to have a look it's the germany company it's wonderful large amount of alcohol ink and i really like to use it because this browning exactly this brownie has such a beautiful color i'm gonna just dab it and wipe it over the spine of this and then probably dab it off a little bit you have colored the spine and now i can glue this on the front i do have glued my envelopes uh, with that base paper on the cover i added there a few labels here 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 and here and i also added that this die cut and underneath i made a little stamping with this small stamp it's from creative expression a tropical island background and the dice here that plant it's this one also creative expression finishing touches leafy branches really beautiful die it looks so amazing you have here a few cut it from serali boxes and they are all look amazing they do cut and embossed at the same time my very next page will be this one i do have already pre-cutted and sewn all around the base paper here i would like to create kind of like slots uh, slot pocket on this spot here where the um where the line is i'm gonna put some decorative decorative thing on the line maybe my brown tape yeah i think i'm gonna place there my brown tape here you do have my brown tape now i'm gonna be using a micropodal to punch the hole here and probably somewhere here And now between these two holes i'm gonna cut the slot i do have my little slot and now i can glue it here on my page because it seems quite plain and empty i decided to add there two envelopes i do have here this beautiful cd envelope which i embossed and distressed and it looks a little bit in vintage wipes and then i do have here this small envelope and i used my stamps and i did stamp it a little bit with the same stamp which i used here on the top in that uh, wooden pattern so i'm gonna glue this envelope probably somewhere here and this one probably somewhere here i guess just to make it a little bit more interesting on the look yeah i think this way entry to those envelope will be from this side here and from this side here this is quite 
small entry here on this side so maybe I'm gonna cut the entry here so I do have sleeve I'm gonna put the glue here on the flap, glue the envelope here. And I'm gonna seal this entry, kind of close it here on that edge with my brown, brown tape. I'm gonna tape it over the entry and on both sides that way the fold will get a little bit more uh, stronger it will be not that flimsy and it will hold better and it looks also a little bit more vintage so I do have entry from here now this one I think this there is space to get into that pocket so this could be glued just as it is yes and now i can glue it on my page here so i do have openings and lots of pockets i'm gonna fill them with some goodies later now i'm gonna work on pop-up pop-up thingy here when this will be open here on the top will be some notepad I'm gonna fix the papers with these hinges and when I will open it I would like to have here uh, some kind of pop-up thing I do have the background paper for this I'm gonna create same slot for the for the pocket here on the side I do have glued this uh, this back paper and I also created pocket here and now I'm gonna create a very simple pop-up thing it's used in photo albums you can find so many uh, tutorials on YouTube for this pop-up thing I'm gonna be using A4 size paper for my pop-up base I'm gonna fold it half this is 170 GSM paper fold it half Cut it on two pieces now I'm gonna fold it half again and fold it half on this long side so I do have these I'm gonna fold it this way and I'm gonna fold the corners here from middle fold the corners I'm gonna fold to that middle middle line or middle lane middle line I guess and this one as well fold it to the middle now open it and to make pop up uh, pop-up pop -up mechanism I'm gonna push these long sides inside and I'm gonna kind of create these triangles here at the front so push one side and push that another side like this I'm gonna distress both sides I do have distressed both sides and again I'm gonna fold it same way like before this way so long sides fold to the, to the middle and create these triangles here I'm gonna grab back my little notepad open it here 
and as here I do have smaller piece I'm gonna start here to place it here kind of manage to place it in the middle here's my glue I'm gonna put the glue on this triangle and place this close to the fold here and I will try to manage to place my mechanism equally in the middle I think somehow like this and I will also try to control that here this space will be straight that it will don't go this way you know Now I can put the glue here and close this side. And I think, yeah, I do have a base opening done. From one sheet this way I can create two of these mechanisms. I'm gonna take another A4 size paper and from this paper I'm gonna create uh, kind of like uh, photo mats. Yeah, photo mats I will say. First I'm gonna cut this paper a little bit down on the long side. I don't wanna have it same size like this. I wanna have it a little bit bigger to cover that opening here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just uh, use this pattern this graph pattern to cut my paper here on this line like this uh, if you need some measurement so this is 13 centimeters or five inches and a little bit <laughs> and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fold it on half i just cut it that paper that it will cover you know that mechanism inside my notepad so fold it on half and then again fold these to the middle fold that will create four equal mats photo mats or drawing uh, drawing pads so it's like this. I'm gonna distress it all from both sides and I'm gonna also cut the corners. So I do have my little mat. I'm gonna open it. Here I can see the middle fold. I'm gonna place my mat on that middle fold. Like this. And here I can see uh, how far I can go with the glue. Here will be this one and here will be that opposite side. So I'm going to fold it. I'm going to put the glue here on this part. And here on this part. Now one more time I'm going to check if I'm straight on that middle fold here and I'm trying to go equally with this here okay so now fold this place it down and fold this and place it down First folding, I will need to help to this mechanism and I will fold it. This has to be locked down. And twist. Okay. 
and open and twist and again a few times open it close it open it close it and always help to that mechanism to go with it until it will follow itself yeah maybe here i will have to help a little bit so that's my opening mechanism i forgot to put some decorative paper over there so i can do that but uh, other than that i'm gonna keep it as it is because it's ready now for uh, pictures or for some writing and i'm gonna move to another opening so before i will glue this on that last page uh, i'm gonna decorate this one as well i do have here this paper i believe this is one of the papers i have uh, in my collection with vintage documents so i will put link down below and i'm gonna place it here on this spot so i do have covered both sides with same paper and i'm gonna glue this one here i decided to not do any kind of opening or pocket on this page it, it will be again same pop-up mechanism here i put some decorations i had piece of that paper as well and then left over from old uh, graphic 45 i do have scraps like this <laughs> everywhere so i use that and i put same paper that graph paper here as well so i'm gonna glue this down and create same mechanism and i did same mechanism like before and again i'm gonna cut uh, a strip of paper and same like before i'm gonna use middle fold and this middle fold to manage how far i will go where i will place these mats and same like before first few foldings i know i need to help to that mechanism so i'm gonna be very gentle and i will always help to work it through okay it will need few more foldings but i think after all, overall it works really well so i do have pop-up thing here and i do have pop-up thingy here i'm gonna decorate the journal a little bit more as you can see here i use these beautiful corners i made them with this paper corner uh, corner punch from some leftovers and they are really easy to fold and they do create uh, corners for pictures which is perfect you can just slide any picture behind those corners and it's perfect to add there at these to your journal or to your photo album so I'm gonna decorate it a little bit more and I will come back once all it's decorated and I do have there some kind of additional inserts and I will show you what I have made and this is how my file folder altered file folder looks like now when it's filled with some goodies I added to the pockets uh, some extra pockets <laughs> because there is not too many pockets there is always space for another pocket so this is frame pocket uh, decorated with all kind of uh, embossed effects and uh, decorative papers and this window and it does have pocket here and as i really like uh, metal pieces i did added them here as as the decoration i also added few uh, few other die cuts which i do have these are i believe the system holds that tack and i believe this one it's marianne designs die so here i have created kind of like closure for these front uh, pockets and i do have some goodies here as well this is what i have created long time ago from uh, parchment paper or 
I think it's called parchment paper. And I do have pocket here. When we open the file folder, I do have another closure here with same uh, tags. And I have created this kind of like little extra piece for writing. We do have decorative uh, that CD cover here. Here a little die cut and I added two eyelets here and I want to do there some tuck or something. I didn't place it there yet. have to create something. Here I do have just two ephemeras. And here I do have another little ephemeras. Tuck for writing. This little decorative um, little decorative kind of like divider and this beautiful um, postcard 1934 here I do have that picture slide in I still didn't fix uh, any writing papers I can fix them later when I do open this one we do have that pop-up uh, pop-up mechanism I have added some stamping here and we do have pocket behind with the uh, writing insert <coughs> pardon me and little tag and yes I need to help this folding a little bit but I'm okay with that when I open this we do have that belly band here and uh, another space where I can place writing papers so here in that belly band I do have again uh, writing insert this, this picture and another of these pockets it does have pocket here I use this beautiful decorative paper this embossed effect here on the back and these strips these are from a uh, impressed list or <coughs> yeah impress list like impress lids from Tim Holtz, really beautiful decorations and again I do have pocket in there and then we do have that second pop-up thingy and again I did little stamping and there is space for pictures or for writing I do believe this could be perfect writing journal and these pop-up windows or pop-up mats they could be pop-up mats with writing there doesn't have to be picture on these it can be some special writing you can lay it down and write on it and then you can you know help to fold it back it will be just some extra something extra in your little journal so this is my sharing for today i hope you did enjoy it i hope you will try uh, i bought these uh, file folders these blue file folders when i had birthday on my 50th birthday this year and I bought them from America. They came all over the sea. And I was so excited because, you know, it came from America. And they are pretty awesome. I will put link down below where from I've got these beautiful file folders uh, for those who are interested. Uh, I think I found them. I think I found them on uh, UK Amazon as well. But I, I will try to have a look and I will put both links. So this is my sharing for today. Thank you so much for joining me and spending your time with me. I hope you will try to create something like this, to create your pop-up thingies, even if it will be just for writing. I think they could look really beautiful with some writing, especially if you do journaling like uh, Jose Narania. Um, I, I am a huge fan of his artwork because it's such a stunning work. Or Sky Bambi. I will put links for Instagrams of these two artists because I'm, I'm totally in love with their work. So something like that in journal like this could, could be so amazing. So that's my sharing for today. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.